for this. Hey guys. Yeah. Inverted race. Centaur Man and Plant Man. It's probably because of the race that I decided to do these two stages. The battle batons are pretty easy to deal with. The power slam, I kind of tip your toe on the ladder here and then just slide under him as he goes, does his power slam move. And then we got these annoying cannons. I jump over this guy, slide the shot, and then back down here. Hello, Eddie. Bye, Eddie. Alright, here's the biggest problem of the stage. These guys. They take 24 shots. Very, very RNG-based, these guys. Alright, that one's down. Unfortunately, that's not the worst part of the stage. Alright, I find it easier just to avoid trying to shoot these guys. Too many missed shots against them. And they pretty much just jump over you, so... Why bother shooting them when you can just skip them? This guy can be a bit tricky. And this guy you have to shoot. Alright. We'll just coax this guy out. And now we just run towards the second... Second Gorilla Tank. Come on. 24 shots. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! Okay, good. <sighs> Might have this. I've made it past here a couple of times, but yeah, I don't want to talk about the first time I failed. The whole part of this stage is just memorization. Remembering where all the enemies are, where the gab goes are, and being very, very careful. You don't have to open up all these flower things. Hey, Nico. Those are the only two I really feel like I have to open. And then you jump. I gotta thank Nico for that little trick. Alright, so precise shots here. Here's a strat I use. One high jump, two high jumps. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Alright, this next one is gonna be a high jump, low jump. High jump, low jump, shoot, shoot, shoot! Okay, now we got a beetle to deal with, right there. Okay, I just need one low jump on all the rest high jumps. There's high jump. High jump, cross, there we go. Okay, we're a plant man again. Let's do this. Um, yeah. I do not want to fail again. I'm gonna be probably a little bit quiet here. Okay. I can get two shots when he does a fur hop away like this. The problem I have is when he hops towards me. Gotta be really careful not to uh, jump too early against the plant barrier. I can do this. We can do this. Come on. Okay. There we go. Slide back into the corner quickly. The thing is, he he's. There we go. Stop doing this. You scare me when you do that. Okay. He's not really a hard boss. See, he'll actually start moving as soon as his plant barrier is off the screen. So watch the plant barrier, not him. And that's how you know to slide to the corner. It's fairly basic. Almost, almost here. Come on, come on. This is it, this is it, this is it. This is, this is it. He's done. He's done! Choke on weed killer, you miserable weed! This guy, right here. It's a spread shot. As he draws in closer, it gets harder to dodge. This guy has many different ways to end your run. Take damage from the spread shot. He can also spread shot you as he's dying. You can also ding off his firing fist. 
Yeah, remember that thing I said about, you know, his spread shot hitting you after he dies? Wasn't the first time that happened. Man, that's so annoying. And Plant Man himself got one outtake here. Yeah, this was the only outtake I had against the guy. Right there. If you shoot the gorilla tank in the fist that's being dragged along the floor, you actually knock him back. This is a valid strategy, it's part of the game mechanic. However, it's a much longer drawn out fight. Let's repeat the precise shot, shall we? One high jump, two high jumps, shoot, shoot, shoot. When we go across, we want a high jump, low jump, shoot, shoot, shoot. High jump, low jump, shoot, shoot, shoot. Kill the beetle. Then across. All high jumps except for one jump, which is a low jump. Now keep high jumping and then go across, tiptoe on the edge, and kill the last cannon. This is actually a pretty hard stage to score. You have the three precise shots you need to land against the cannons on the springs. If you know the timing on them, they become less of a threat, but not by much. Then you have that final cannon that is a little bit easier but requires precision landing if you employ the strat I used. The biggest problem in this stage is the gorilla tank. The score can differ depending on how much of a stickler you want to be to the no miss rule. Hitting the gorilla tank in the hand is a design mechanic. It has been proven, however, that you can get past it without this. If you do this, you are going to leave yourself up to the RNG gods where you have to pray the Gorilla Tank uses the Blind Fist attack more than the Spread Shot. Top this off with the fact that you have to do this twice. It is for this reason I feel I must give this stage a score, an 8 out of 10. Plantman himself is a joke, earning only a score of 1 out of 10. This means the total score I give this stage is an 8 out of 10. With that, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next video goes up, take care.